Bye, Pele! <laughs>I'm going to be going to get my hair done and it's been quite a while um when was it February February January February March April May June July August it's been six months I have to do that every single time by the way I <laughs> count months and things it's been six months since I've had my hair done I, I did go for a dry cut in between but I haven't had it washed and I haven't had it I have washed my hair myself I haven't had it washed in the hairdressers and I haven't had um, highlights done since February so this is all my natural colour that's growing through and I am in the process of trying to grow out my colour and also grow my hair I think I've been getting it shorter and shorter over the years and it was really really nice when I had it cut short above the shoulder but I've just kind of changed my mind. The thing I miss most is being able to do this when I get home from work. Being able to throw it up on top of my head without... I don't know why it's working now, probably because it hasn't been washed. Um, without these bits falling down. So I just... I miss that so much that I'm going to grow my hair out just for that. Even though, even though when I go out, when I do my hair to go out places, to be seen in public, I usually have my hair down. But no, I care more about when I get home from work and I just want to relax at home with all my hair off my head. So that is what I'm going with. So I'm going to grow it for that reason. And today I'm going to a new salon. And the, the gentleman, the gentleman Billy, who runs the hairdressers and just opened it, has been doing my hair for years anyway but working from another salon and he's decided to open his own and I couldn't resist just going along for a little visit, seeing how seeing how his whole place is working and how his setup looks and I'm just going to take you along with me today. I've already had a consultation with Billy and I had that a couple of weeks ago I think just so we could talk about exactly what I wanted him to do to my hair today because I am always changing my mind. I'm constantly either getting highlights or I'm getting copper colour and this time we're going for something a little bit different because I'm trying to grow this out we're going to kind of put some similar colours that are similar to my roots through the ends just to break up the kind of block blonde I have going on at the moment so we're going to put that through and he's going to put a toner on as well and yeah I'm super excited a little bit nervous as well I trust Billy anyway with my hair he's never done anything that I, I didn't like with my hair I basically went to him the other day and said what would you do with my hair at this stage? And I tell him exactly kind of the thing that I'm going for. He knows that I don't want any more bleach in it and he knows that I'm kind of trying to grow out my roots. So let's go and see his fancy new salon. so yeah, yeah, yeah I think so yeah so you've got the choice of God, this one is more permanent but it will affect your natural colour okay. or you've got this one which is same colour yeah it's just it's only going to colour the coloured hair it won't touch yours Let's do that, I think. that's what I thought yeah as well, just, just to be safe for now just yeah. because I'm one of the yeah you know what I'm like well, yeah, we don't want it too uh, much anyway I want it to try yeah I don't want to regret it and I don't want to not I know, you're like, I wonder why they've done this again. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. We'll just like literally mingle it in again. It's yeah, good because it's only going to colour the bit that's already coloured. Okay. It'll leave you natural to its own devices. <laughs> Deal. Okay, never thought I'd be saying that. So I know, like, I'm like, what the yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that's the best plan. And obviously then we'll put the um, champagne turn off. Put it on the backwash. Yeah. Once I've washed that off, just sort of like tone the rest out yes, a little bit rather than yeah. making it too like, whoa. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Terrifying. And then we still just trim in. Very small, yeah. I'm yeah, actually like, really happy with the length and stuff just growing. So as much as possible, try not to. Well, cool. as little as possible, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cut as little as possible, really. I mean, I don't know what you're doing. When did you have a cut last? Not last two. I've been looking after it. You've done well, Pat. You've done well. <laughs>
Sit however you're most comfortable, yeah. as if I'm planning. I'm going to write your notes. I wanted to like I sit upside down or do something weird then. <laughs> you know, sit how you're most comfortable. Yeah, hands down. <laughs> you're like, okay then. <laughs> Shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Just got a tone on now. Highlights all done. Toner time. now from the hairdressers don't panic this is not how we're leaving it it's well it is how we're leaving it but I don't like to have my hair blow-dried and styled much and anything else put on it after it's been done I just like to let it dry naturally I just like air drying my hair so you can definitely see that the colors changed you can definitely see it look, looks more natural and this section just blends in with this nicely and no more of that bright bright blonde. I will show you when it's dried completely later on and when I've maybe killed the ends or something tomorrow. Good morning, my hair is now finally complete. This is the finished look. I let it dry naturally last night and then slept on it and then I've just run the hair straighteners through and given it a little bit of a curl through the ends because this is how I like to style my hair. I'm super super happy with the colour. It's got that ginger tone to it but a little bit brown and definitely definitely toned down the blonde can't really see any of the blonde now apart from you just kind of get a little bit of a, a little bit of highlight occasionally you just kind of see a touch of it and I like that because it doesn't feel like a heavy block colour and I kind of need that with me being fair fair skinned like sometimes one bold colour can be a little bit heavy um it kind of clashes with my skin tone I don't know but yeah, I'm super happy with the way it looks and I'm using hair shampoo and conditioner that don't have sulfates in and silicone so hopefully it won't strip the colour too quickly because it isn't super permanent or even semi-permanent. So like the toner that he's used, it's really light and kind to your hair but it should fade nicely without giving that, yeah, without fading to like a weird colour or something. It should fade quite naturally so the blondes will just start coming through slowly but... Yeah, hopefully the upkeep won't be too much. I'm super happy with it and I'm definitely going to stick with this for a while. If you're looking for a salon and you're in the area, go and check out Billy's new salon. I will see you there.